Please hold. <laughs> I thought you had a long ass fucking try. I did until it broke. We're off to a great start. It's all good. <laughs> she was getting so pissed off because she couldn't find headphones and then pissed off because it wasn't working. <laughs> so now she's just pissed off. Look at that, it's working. I don't know. We don't have to have Wi Fi. I'm using just like my phone. Is this touch screen? Hey, hey, hey. Hi. <laughs> I found headphones since we're doing it on my phone now. We are not prepared. Oh, wait, I can't plug them in anyways. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> need to do something else. Polly over! Is this going to like go on the thing? She can edit it. It's fine. Oh, yeah. I'll edit it. How are the dogs? Suck. Did they shit on the floor today? No. Yes, they did. Buckeye had nuggets this morning. Oh, you're taking up the whole screen. Okay, then scoot over. We're doing great today. Lesbian bliss, aren't we? Oh, she's horrible. You're horrible. <laughs> you know what that's fucking from? No. <laughs> it's from something when she's like, yeah, you're horrible. Oh. <laughs> it's legit, though. <laughs> Mary Catherine Gallagher. When she's, it's the, I'm a star. I'm a superstar. This is, uh. This is a bonus episode. Welcome to Queer Talk bonus episode with my friends and family. Hey. Hey, yo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> today's guest, uh, the guest we have on for this episode is one of my best friends, my childhood best friends that I grew up with and her girlfriend. Um, I thought I'd have them on because they're gay. It was cool to grow up with <laughs> a gay best friend, even though we didn't know it at the time, but I wanted to have you on. I want to have you on as my first bonus episode. Yay! Did you, did you know I was gay growing up? I didn't, like, think, oh my god, I'm, you know, in, like, eighth grade when I actually know sort of, like, what being gay is, and I think that you are gay. You know what I mean? Like, I never... There was never a time where I was like, yep, she's going to be, she's going to be a big fucking lesbian. Like once we're, once we're done with this. Um, but when you did tell me as like a 20, what, three year old adult, like it did not surprise me. Like, it's not that I was sitting here like, oh, I'm waiting for you to come out. Like, I know that she's going to do it. I know she's going to do it. But like, you're just the kind of person that just like, has always kind of just like gone with the flow and like you just kind of do whatever you want to do like all the time and when you said hey I, I think it that sounds I like probably... awful it sounds like a piece of shit she does what no, she it's to not do all the time <laughs> it's not like that though it's just like I don't know I guess I would relate it open. more You're yeah open-minded open -minded, like free-spirited like you know doesn't really give a shit like what people think sort of thing so like when you said hey I think I like girls and I'm like yeah okay cool like it, I'm just not surprised by that like not that I was sitting here waiting you know like twiddling my thumbs but like just wasn't surprised yeah but like th I mean there was a time where like because like we, you know that like when we were little little like and you know we played sports and all this stuff like we dressed and acted the exact same like we acted yep. like little bros I don't know we were and then there was just like a point in like I don't know probably middle school when it was like a thing to like be cool and like fit in and like whatever that like I kind of stayed in like the tomboy phase and you kind of did like the whole I don't know like you kind of girly here and there sort of I guess so like we kind of went different ways as far as like style and like things that we were into but like obviously we were still friends even mm -hmm. through that time um even so, when I decided I, to be a basic bitch, you were still like, I still like you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, um, but so, like, I don't know. I feel like that was just part of, like, you figuring out your stuff. Like, you know, like, kind of like we already said, like, you're just open-minded. You go with the flow. Like, you try things all the time, obviously. Like, you fucking lived in a different country <laughs> for a while. So, like, you're just, I don't know, open-minded. You go with the flow. So, like, no, I didn't sit here and think, you know, like, no, like, you're, I know that you're gay. I'm just waiting for you. But it just did not surprise me when you told me that. Come on, buddy. Come like on, buddy. Stuff. Just waiting at the closet. Right. Come on. Come on. Right. You, can do it. Come on. you can try it. Just come on. It'll be nice. I promise. It's not <laughs> scary over here. 
I think it's funny because I came out to you when I was living in another country. It, it, and it, I thought it was funny that I had to travel hundreds of thousands of miles away. I don't even know if it's hundreds of thousands. I don't know. I don't know. Thousands of miles away to tell my best, one of my best friends who I, who's known me since I was eight over a text message. <laughs> <laughs> when literally we could see each other's houses. Like, <laughs> like that's how far away we live from each other. Like we could see almost into each other's bedrooms, basically. Literal, quite literally. So yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know why. I think it took, I think it was like, I needed to like leave to be able <laughs> to be more in touch with myself. And like, I think it just goes to show like coming out to different people, even though you were the first person that I came out to, like it was, and, and I knew that you would be cool with it. Obviously you came out like <laughs> four years before me. Somehow mm -hmm. I was so nervous, like so nervous about it. And yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was nervous telling you though, too. And I knew the same thing. Like I was like, I mean, which is kind of how I felt with a lot of people. Like, even when I like told my mom, I was like, I know that she's probably going to be cool with this, but like, I was so nervous still, like, and even telling you or like telling some, you know, other people, whatever, I was so nervous the whole time, even though I knew that it was more than likely going to be fine. I remember when you came over and I thought it was the funniest thing because like, I'm going to let all the listeners know, I had no idea that this bitch was gay. And if you see her if you're on this Patreon and you're watching this, can you fucking see her? <laughs> gay as shit. See my bracelet? And I didn't realize it at all. Yeah, you see her bracelet? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize it at all. That's probably because I was repressed myself and was like, if she's gay, then I'm gay and I can't be gay, so she's definitely not gay. That's the only <laughs> thing I can think of. And like, we had a friend who, this was senior year. We haven't even gotten to the part where she's coming out. I'm backtracking. But this Backtrack. was senior year and I'm sitting with, or I'm walking with our friend and Chelsea, I didn't even, in, did I introduce you guys? To who? To this audience. No. Yeah. Oh, did, did you? Yeah. Did I? I think so. Okay. Oh yeah, you did, you did, you did, you did. I was just sitting here and I was like, did I even fucking introduce them? Yeah, wow. yeah, it's yeah. A shit yeah. show of a bonus episode. No, I'm just <laughs> it's kidding. fine. It's the first one. It's great. Sorry, Elise. Um, but anyways, I was walking. This was senior year, and we were outside of the high school, and it was um, me and our other friend and Chelsea. And Chelsea runs up to like say hi to somebody, and she gets all excited and like weird and goofy, and so she runs off. And it's me and our friend. We'll call her C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and C and I are walking and she gets kind of silent and she looks at me and she goes, you think Chelsea's gay? <laughs> <laughs> and I look at her and I immediately like went to your defense. I was like, no, she's not gay. Like she dated this person and this person, like she's just really picky. Like, why do you, why would you think that? Like, she's just a tomboy. Like, it's totally fine. Like, I was totally, like, on, like, the defense of, like, fuck no, she's not gay. Like, why would you say that? Like, that could really hurt her confidence. Like, that could be so embarrassing to her. Like, what if that got out as a rumor that would, like, ruin her? And then I would have to, like, pick up the fucking pieces. And I was, like, so mad about it. Because I was under the impression that, like, if if you were outed, that would have been like the most horrible thing in like the whole world. And right. and I thought that you were straight. So the fact that people thought that you were gay was somehow a negative thing. And I was uh -huh. wanting to protect you from said negative thing because of all of the, you know, like right. internalized homophobia that I had. So like I had good right. intentions, but like I was really right. ignorant <laughs> when I was doing that. <laughs> but I, I mean, just, yeah. It, it's fair. I mean, where we grew up, it's fair, I think. Yeah. I you thought I was really good. The friend. Same boat. Yeah. Um, I just I thought that was so funny. And then literally that was senior year. And then a year later, you mm -hmm. were in college and you had your time away in Arizona and mm -hmm. you figured your you know, you started coming out to people and you came home and in the summer I started seeing tweets from you that were super gay. Like super gay <laughs> tweets. <laughs> 
<laughs> like could not mince that. Even my repressed ass self was like, oh, yeah, maybe. I oh, mean, maybe. Okay. I mean, maybe she's just an ally, but like maybe like the, the tongue emoji with the water uh, to the girls. I mean, maybe she's just like a super ally. Like she has a, like a big girl crush, you know? Right, right, right. <laughs> but it made me start thinking about it. So when you said, hey, I want to talk to you. Can I come over and hang at the pool? I was like, oh, I think she's going to come out to me. And I told my parents, I was like, I think Chelsea might be gay. And I think she might be coming out to me. And they were like, are you kidding me? Like, no way. Like, they had no <laughs> idea either. Like, completely <laughs> over their fucking head, of course. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> Seeing all I the pictures understand. of her when she was little. I don't understand. Yeah. Bitch, but I everything that she was wearing, like, I don't know. You could just tell. I feel like, but maybe not. I don't know. I didn't know her then. So. Oh, yeah. Let's looking back, of course. Yeah, like looking so. back, all of the signs were there. I was just too fucking yeah. in the dark to see it myself. I mean, so. same. Yeah. I was definitely in the dark too. I yeah. think more than anything, I was just afraid. But you know how yeah. that goes. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, you come over and you come to the and I'm like preparing. I like prepared what I was gonna say to you. I, like, had it all in my head, like, when you come out to me, like, what I was going to say, I was, like, super, like, I'm going to be the best ally ever, like, I'm going to be so awesome, like, yeah, I'll be your wing woman, oh, my God, and live vicariously <laughs> through you and have no idea. Right, right. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and you came over, and we started talking, and we were, I was asking you, like, how Arizona was, and, like, all of that, and, and that's how it came up, and you were, like, so, like, there's this girl, I forget her name, but you were like, this girl, blah, 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 like, we've been getting really close, and I was like, okay, cool, I was like, and then I was like, so, like, are you dating anybody, and, and you were like, yeah, and you were like, <laughs> dating her, <laughs> oh, God, I, oh I really God. don't, like, remember that conversation at all, like, you've told me about it multiple times, so I know, yeah. like, how it went down, but I don't, like, even remember doing that. You're probably that. so nervous. You probably blocked it out. I probably, yeah, I probably, like, blacked out. <laughs> yeah, you probably did. I remember the whole goddamn thing. <laughs> I prepared for it more than I prepared for my own coming out. I mean, holy shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right there. But, yeah, you did. That's how it got started. And, and, I mean, I specifically asked you that question because I'm like, here it is. The moment. Here we go. You. <laughs> and you told me about that girl and that it was going to be long distance. And you and she was going uh, back to yeah. Kansas or something. Mm -hmm. Something fucking mm -hmm. Kansas. Yeah. Um, That's it. And, uh, yeah, and it was uh, really cool. We talked about it. And, and, I, and I said this. <laughs> remember saying this and oh my god my little repressed baby gay self I remember telling you I remember being like you know what like I feel like to be a good ally you have to put yourself in someone else's shoes and like and, and you really think like could this be something that like that could happen you know and because I am such an open person I'm so open and I remember <laughs> saying that to you like yeah, you have to really put yourself in someone's shoes and I, you know, like, could I really, you know, do that and, and, and stuff like that. And I just remember having that conversation of like doing that. And so like in, sh in show of my support of you. Um, <laughs> and it's just the funniest, the funniest shit looking back now, you know, yeah. like, I, it was almost yeah. like I was like partly like relieved that like you came out because like somehow it made me feel better even though I didn't even know at the time. I don't even know. Right. Yeah. I mean, that, I mean that makes sense though. I was like so happy for you. Like I was like so happy. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck. Karani. <laughs> yeah, seriously. My sister, did I did I tell you that? My sister and my uh, cousin tested positive for corona. No. -uh. Yeah, Shy did and Darby did. So I tested negative. Everyone else tested negative. Um, and I've been at my own place for yeah, a week yeah, yeah. now. It's my second week. Huh. But yeah, they did. That's a positive. That's crazy. Did she have symptoms? Yeah, she had symptoms of like a sinus infection. Oh, hmm. oh shit. <clears throat> so they didn't think anything of it, but like she lost her sense of taste. Oh, uh, I've heard that that's a big, a big thing with the coroni. Yeah. 
So, uh, I don't know. She's a lot better now, though. And Shy was asymptomatic. So, you, what'd you say? Shy was asymptomatic. Oh. Am I sideways now? Can I do yeah, this? You're sideways. Damn. Can we do it? Can we do it anyways? <laughs> or to make for bad no, go up. Just, you're just going to have to hold Son it. Son of a bitch. Yeah, just fucking hold just it. Hold. Don't be Don't a pussy. Be <laughs> Don't be suspicious. 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 But yeah, no, that's a fucking that's a funny story. Another thing that I thought was funny is I remember you would talk about like your group in at Wright State because like for those of you who don't know like Chelsea played on a rugby team like she was like she's the gayest gay that ever gayed. And yeah. she dated the president. <laughs> she dated the president of the fucking rugby team. I did. That did. That did happen. <laughs> it did happen. I was like the, um, what is it? The first lady. <laughs> <laughs> the first lady of rugby? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. Can't make that shit up. Can't make that shit up. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, I'd like to say that you joined rugby just to join, but I feel like you did join for her. Did you? Okay, let's backtrack here. I, that's not entirely true. Okay. Oh, it's not true. Okay. I, you had, you had never listen, rugby this before. is true. Okay. I had started to play rugby at, or at Arizona, and I didn't end up playing there because it was like super expensive, whatever. So anyways, when I transferred to Wright State and I found out that it was a lot less expensive to play, I was like, oh, okay, like I'm going to try this out. I did not know what she looked like or even who she was at the time. I had sent an email to her, but again, like it was literally an email. Like I had no idea who she was, didn't know what she looked like, just knew that she was the president, you know, of the club. And I assumed that the president like was going to be somebody who did not also play, just like initial thought, you know? Uh, well, it turns out that we ended up matching on Tinder, and I was like, wait, isn't this the same girl that is the president of the club, and then I matched with her on Tinder, and so whatever, like, we would have met no matter what, but we started, like, first speaking through Tinder. She's met all so, of her girlfriends through Tinder. Yeah, I don't yeah. speak, I don't <laughs> speak to people in public. <laughs> I don't speak to people pretty much ever, but anyways, that's not, that's not what we're talking about. I know. But yeah, I I met her before showing up to rugby. So I had planned on playing rugby before I met her, technically. Okay. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fine. <clears throat> but you, you like, know, your rugby friends were interesting. Like, because I would <laughs> hang out. I, ha I hung out with them periodically. I came up and saw you and... They came mm -hmm. down and like you guys had parties at like your parents' house and I would walk down and I remember that was like my foyer into like queer culture before I was actually out. Um, and it part of it was when I didn't know and part of it was when I finally like came out to myself. But uh -huh. like I remember it just being so like the the Ohio version of the L word. Oh Jesus Christ! It, yeah. That's <laughs> This and like was crazy. everyone was fucking each other. There were so many lesbian entanglements, like yeah. so much drama. Yeah. And, like I remember just like eating it up because they would tell like they would tell me everything that's going on. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. Like <laughs> support you guys. Like, oh, it was just so it was just oh, God. it was so interesting. And like <clears throat> like just this the stories that I heard like were just so not that I was into any of them there was only one person that was the girlfriend of someone that I was like she's hot like she's fucking hot I, I like her um I forget her name she was I forget she was hot though was it I can think of two people who I you might be thinking of but I can't I don't know she <laughs> was like um I don't know if she was tall but she was like thin long brown hair was she her was name some, Colleen? Maybe. She, she seemed just, like, cool as fuck. Um, yeah. I, that, I think that's who it was. I feel like we've had this discussion before, and I'm pretty sure that's who it was. Yeah, she was hot. It, that was before I was out? I I, yeah, that was. Well. That had to have been. Yeah. Um, and, like, 
your parents were in the house and they were like, how is it? Like, how are you feeling? Like having fun, <laughs> like all of this stuff. Like, so I feel like at that time they were still kind of like, like obviously supportive, but just kind of uncomfortable, like not really knowing like <laughs> what to what, do. What was happening. Yeah. And they thought yeah. like I was on their side. And so yeah. I was the, like the liaison between the two, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, I think that they just, like, didn't really, I think that they didn't want to, like, offend people. Like, I think, yeah. I still, to this day, think that they've been supportive the whole time and all that kind of thing, obviously. But, like, I think that they just didn't really know, like, what to expect because they've never, yeah. like, had to, ex not that it's, like, an experience, but you know what I mean? Like, been around gay people before, and yeah. especially in a very large mass quantity of gay people. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm sure that they try wanted to just like play it cool and not like offend anybody and just yeah. kind of be on the back burner <laughs> yep that that's literally how it was like that it's not like they were being like like mean or anything or weird it was just like yeah that they, they were uh, like not uncomfortable but yeah like not knowing really like how to navigate it and right. and I was kind of like in a space where like I was cool with it but also had other stuff going on underneath but I was like trying right. to be like the straight friend that's like super inclusive and like I'm cool with all the everything that's going on and like wow look at how cool she is she's just so cool yeah you know, I don't fucking know she's just so cool um but I just I I remember that being like a really formative experience for me like just having you as a friend that came out four years before me like what a what a great support to have like you know because it's not like I have like queer siblings or or family or anything yeah. like that I mean there's some extended family but not to the point where I would reach out you know so like right, right, right. you were that like real main support that's like known me since I was eight you mm -hmm. know <clears throat> when I came out so like it was definitely a wealth even even if you didn't know it like you're just coming out and like being around that I think helped me come out in in a small way even if I didn't realize it yeah so yeah thanks buddy <laughs> I remember asking you one time about lesbian sex. Do you remember that? God. No. I don't I was, think so. I, I was in I was in the car. We were in the car and we were hanging out. I think it was that blue car you had. Um and you were talking about I don't know if you want to talk about this, but I'll bring it up and we can edit it out <laughs> if you need to. <laughs> but you were what was I talking about? Uh, oh yeah, you were telling me about that threesome that you had. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I don't with, remember this conversation with with that girl. Uh, uh -huh. Um, and then with the other girl, <laughs> we'll call them A and B. Yeah, A and B. <laughs> and I, and I was just as a friend so intrigued, just like. <laughs> Um, I remember being like, oh my god, like, like, she's so, like, experienced, like, I wanted, I, like, I wanted to know, just from, from a friend standpoint, because that shit's fun, but also, I think I was, like, I, I was really just, like, curious to know, like, yeah, how that went down, and, like, all of that stuff, and I remember you, like, legitimately telling me exactly, like, you were, you, you showed me, um, this, the girl sent you a picture, and one of her traps was bigger than the other trap. Oh, my God. And you You're thought right. it was the funniest thing ever. And I was like, I don't get it. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> like, she fucked up when she was, like, working out. And you were like, yeah. no, from sex. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, why would she have a huge muscle on her fucking shoulder? <laughs> oh, my God. And you had to explain it to me. Yeah. I don't remember having that conversation, but like that yep. makes sense now. Yeah. Yeah. You were like, you don't, you were like, you don't, you don't know. Like, you don't, you don't get why. And I was like, you don't get it. I was like, what? Like, why? And <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah. What a time that was. I've never came across anyone who has one trap bigger than the other. I really haven't. Honestly, she's the only person I know that has, mm -hmm. and it's, um, <laughs> <It's one. laughs> Do I not know this one? I don't know. 
You might have just outed her because I don't think I know this one. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Is my friend Destiny? <laughs> Got her name. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a That's really, really weird strange. Situation. Oh wow! No, I didn't know about even, that one. No, it wasn't even like. Okay, no, it's fine. We don't have to explain. No, I'm gonna talk about it now. I don't want to talk like, about it. It's fine. It's great. It's like we. Like, literally, the three of us had never had that experience, like, never had a threesome experience, and we were, we literally were like, hey, let's just do it, you know, because, like, it was people that we, like, trusted and, like, knew, we were like, we just want to do this to get it out of the way, it's literally, the, all the intention behind it was like, hey, we're just gonna do this because it's people that we like, people that we know, like, whatever, like, we, because me and, you know, Sony at the time, we were dating, Mm -hmm. and... (laughs) <laughs> we were just like hey we trust her she's not gonna go and like you know fuck us over in some way or whatever like we're just gonna do it to get it out of the way and it was like I mean oh. it was like fine I'm 32 and I've never had a threesome with two girls so I should feel like we should get that out of the way oh, I know. <laughs> I know. we should we should just find somebody we trust no. it's a friend no <laughs> I just like how you like acted like, well, I haven't done it, so I have to do it. It's it's like mandatory. So yeah, that's what, no, that's literally what we and did. And I trust these people. And yeah, like, well, we're, we're gonna do we're it. We're just gonna do it and see because what happens. We trust each other. That's I swear to God, that's literally the words that were said. Like we were just like, hey, we just want to do this because I like we we weren't like a, attracted to her. Oh, okay. You know, like she was one of our friends. <laughs> I have never it looked doesn't at make one of my... any sense. It doesn't make any sense. The more I say it, it I, doesn't make sense. But I we were like never looked at one of my friends and been like, hey, would you like to have a threesome? Because like we need to get this out of our system. It's literally what we, we did trust though. you. <laughs> literally what we did. We were like, hey, let's just go and do this and did say you guys, that like, say that we did it. handshake before no. like a it was really awkward. Pinky, it was super awkward to start square. off. So who had the trap that was bigger? She Destiny did. <laughs> Poor thing probably still does, if I had to guess. <laughs> I don't think that's funny. She really does, though. I never heard of that. Like, I've heard about, like, forearms and stuff being, like, brick hard. And, I like, have never met another trap? person. I've never like, met. what do you do yeah. with your arm? Like, apparently got really, really into Really get into know. that. <laughs> Since you told me that, I have looked out for that. Like, I have, I have like, looked at lesbians' <laughs> traps like and been like, it's one now. bigger than the other. <laughs> I've, never, I've never met somebody who's, like, it was noticeably different. That is so I've weird. never met somebody else that's that. I don't think that's because that. of her having sex, though. Maybe not, but I think maybe it only just, it made sense, so that's what we went with. But like, this is the thing. <laughs> this is this is where I I feel really in, intrigued right now. Okay, because like you have to be shrugging constantly. Yeah, that's like what you I'm have saying. to be doing yeah. this, and you have like to literally be like, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know, I don't. Yeah, know. like <laughs> I'm I'm like I'm not trying to do the motion, but like oh um, like. <laughs> That's tiring, dude. Like that's like yeah, a it's whole. More of like a wrist that's a whole thing. arm yeah. thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, maybe a little bit of a bicep thing, you know, but mainly like your forearm. You it's know? your fucking forearm. Yeah, I'm confused by that. Now I'm gonna yeah, look at it. Yeah, it's like this motion. Everybody know? that I meet, I'm gonna look at their traps. <laughs> I just don't know why the, that muscle would be used. Like I'm so confused. Yeah. At why that muscle is being used and not like. The rest of your like the arm, everything below the arm would be used, not the right. fucking, not that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I don't know. I think we probably just made that up because it sounded cool, <laughs> and we were like twenty, so we're like, ha, yeah, that's exactly why she has a huge strap. Obviously. Why? Why else though? Like why else? I, yeah, right. I don't know. Nothing else makes sense either. So. <laughs> I love that. I don't know. I love that theory though. I have to sh- so that's so it. funny. Yeah, I don't know. It was interesting. Yeah, but that was the first thing I was like, so in, I was like, cur- so curious. And I didn't realize why. And I like, I, I said it was just because like, you were like my friend and it was like a fun, you know, obviously story that was like fun to you. So it was like fun oh. for me to hear it, you know? <laughs> yeah. And not in like, in any educational way whatsoever. <laughs> so. It's fine. It's totally fine. I feel like there was another thing too that uh, I don't really remember. 
Um, no, there were, I don't know, maybe we won't talk about that, but. Oh God, <laughs> now I'm scared. I'm intrigued. <laughs> I like learning things that I didn't know. <laughs> you guys are learning things about, <laughs> you're learning things about Chelsea you didn't know. Well, no, I think I remember her telling me that she had that, she had, okay. She told me she had two threesomes and I knew about the one and she told me the other one. And I think I knew the one person. I think I just didn't relate because it was oh. very early. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't know who That's anybody fair. was. That's fair. Yeah. I knew like exes names because right. they're, you know, just a couple of them. Yeah. So I knew that much, but I didn't know who the third one. So I had actually forgot about it. And I, I truthfully forget about it. But I do remember you telling me it was a friend. And I think mm. I remember after we had dated for like three months and I couldn't remember who that friend was. So every friend that I would get introduced to, I'd be like, is this the one? Is this the one? Oh my God. Is this the one? No, that you, you haven't. Have met. Really <laughs> you have but met. now I know. Cause I had forgot about that though, but that's what I did. Like at first I was curious. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> I remember, no, this is what it is. I remember asking you about strap ons. Oh, oh yeah that was probably before I had ever even used one no it was during my first relationship so oh at the so very beginning of it yeah yeah it was at the very uh -huh. not super recent it was like almost three years ago I think um <clears throat> we were at gold star do you remember that <gasps> oh no remember the gold star talk it was the gold, yeah. <laughs> Wait, do I? I don't know. We we went to Gold Star, and it was when I was with my first girlfriend, and I had asked you questions about strap-ons. So they didn't know anything about I, them, but we I wanted don't know to if try I it. Oh. And I was like, because I, I thought, I was like, okay, well, like, I'm pretty sure, like, I know who wears it in, in the relationship, so that's why I, like, I had had that conversation with you, but, like, um, <laughs> I, I didn't know, and it was, like, such a weird conversation, but I remember being, like, you know, like, my girlfriend and I want to try it, but, like, we're not really sure, like, mm -hmm. I can do, and, like, <laughs> and, like, it was like so funny. I remember being like super, kind of super embarrassed to like ask, but like, I don't, rem I don't remember that one. Mm -hmm. I apparently don't remember a lot of things. Maybe I am dying. <laughs> <laughs> These were like just such formative <laughs> memories for me, and you were like blacked out. Don't remember yeah, it not black, at all. Blacked it all out, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, I remember that. I, I asked you so many like very intimate things during that time because I had nobody else to ask. I mean, I remember you asking. I remember you asking things, but I guess I just don't remember like all the details that went into it, apparently. Yeah. But I do remember you asking questions and I was like, yeah, I'll fucking answer them. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I remember because I remember like a particular uh partner that I had was like wanted to to explore more like aggressive forms of stuff and I remember asking you about that too because I was like I don't like it that much like I just like feel like I kind of have to like do it because like she wants it but like it's not it's like I'm indifferent to it and like part of it it's like I feel really bad because it makes me feel like a shitty person <laughs> yeah I have that too <laughs> yep yep Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of the same way there. Like, sometimes, like, I'm like, okay, yeah, like, I can do this. This is fine, you know? Like, but then other times I'm like, oh, my God, am I hurting you? <laughs> Are yeah. you okay? A little soft top. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very, very soft. I top. feel like I'm better with that now, though, because I got that, I got that all out when I was, like, a gay bee, when I was like, oh, my God, is this okay? Like, not that... Consent, you always need consent all the time. Every every time, yes means yes and no means no. Um, right. And even sometimes yes can mean no. But uh, <laughs> I just want to preface with that. But I feel like I was a little more, not more timid, but like a little more like, ooh, 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 um, yeah. soft, like super, super soft. And now I'm a little bit more like, get the fuck on the bed. 
<laughs> I like, love that you've had that turnaround. Like, like cute, 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 great, you know, but like, I, we're wasting daylight here. Like, <laughs> You know what I mean? We're, we're wasting daylight. What the fuck? Why do you have clothes on? What's going on? <laughs> oh, so, shit. You know, it, it comes with, it comes with <laughs> experience. Right. It's fine. <clears throat> I thought about doing an experiment. I saw this on TikTok. Um, someone was just literally on Tinder and someone, the first message, if someone messaged, hey, or like, you're cute, she would say, shut the fuck up and snap me. And she would no. put her snap handle. <laughs> oh my god, it's very aggressive. She's like, shut the fuck up and snap me. I was like, wow. And she wanted to see if it worked, and it did. Yeah. Wow. I feel like I, I would feel like be I like, could see okay. that. Yeah, I would have been like, oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> what are you gonna show me? Right. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I would have too, because it's like declarative. So you're like, oh, yeah. nobody's like, you know, wishy washy. Yeah, not fucking um, beating around the bush. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pun intended. Yep. <laughs> but I thought about doing that. So maybe that'll be on my next episode. I will talk about me just telling people to shut the fuck up and give me their numbers or <laughs> give me their snap. You should do it. I'm not going to know how, the, how it goes. I fucking hate Snapchat, though. I never I liked too. it. I'm not good at it. And I feel like when I'm on Hinge or Tinder and someone asks for my snap, I always feel like they're always looking for something more casual, which is fine. It's just an observation, like mm -hmm, yeah. from that app to another social media app instead of to like a text where you have someone's number. Mm -hmm. It seems to me like they just want to be casual and like flirty and stuff. Cause, yeah, like, I fucking hate yeah, Snapchat yeah. too. So I fucking hate it too. It's so time consuming. Like I either want to like get on the phone or like FaceTime. Or like get someone's number so I can actually ask them out. Right, I agree. Like With I don't, that. I just I hate it. I've never liked Snapchat, and so like I've done it a little bit. Like if I'm just kind of like, ah, eh, like I'm lonely. Here you go. Um, and I'll snap a little bit and then I'll stop. <laughs> so. I love Snapchat. I hate. I hate it. I don't. I don't like it. I like I to chat like with a picture, but I don't really want to FaceTime. I mean, sometimes I'll that do makes that me too. Uncomfortable. I like if I have an outfit and I'm like, oh, I got dressed up for the day and I like send it in a text. You know? Yeah. Like yeah. every once in a while or like sending an audio message. I'm really into audio messages lately. So like, like the, the girls that I have now convert, it sounds terrible. I've converted them, but like, <clears throat> I feel like the whole goal is to get off of the app, you know, to like get yeah. intrigued enough. And so you're like, oh, like we have something here, you know, whatever. And so to get them to text, because that's, you know, better. I, I never really ask for dates on the social media. I ask for them when I have them over text, you know? There's a little bit of commitment there, right? To give mm -hmm. someone your number. But I've been really yeah. into audio messages. So, yeah. like, I've done that where I've been, like, because I really hate, I really do hate Tinder. And I, and I hate Hinge. So I say, I say that. I'm like, I hate these. You want to text me. And, you know. It usually yeah. goes over well. And then I'll send audio messages because, <laughs> like, we're in quarantine. And I feel like to get to know somebody faster is better to send audio messages. So I send fucking audio messages. <clears throat> Someone will Fair. text me and I'll be like, that's awesome. You know, I'll send an audio message. And usually they'll be like, oh, my God, like, that's so cool. I never thought to send an audio message. Or, like, I like your voice. I don't really think of audio messages either. Yeah. Same. Yeah. I've done it a few times. But not like super often or anything. I, I got into it with before. my last fling. We audio messaged a lot. I don't know. Oh why. really? Yeah. It's and not that we didn't talk for hours at night. We had to audio message during the day too. <laughs> <laughs> it's not enough. Salad, salad. <clears throat> not enough. Not enough. But yeah, I I have been getting into that lately. We'll see if it it works. I feel like it would help kind of make it go faster like with the connection like if you have a connection or not is to start audio messaging and yeah and things like that you know i could see that yeah uh, i don't know we'll see yeah. we'll see we'll see i've done a lot of matching of people that i've already matched on tinder with and so like i recognize them <laughs> 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 whoops 
It's actually worked in my favor though. It, not that yeah. I did it on purpose, obviously, but I was like, oh yeah, I know this person. So I would say, hey, I know you. It's only happened twice. Oh. Not like it happened all the time. <laughs> it happened twice. <clears throat> but I hated Tinder. Literally hated it. Like, so glad that's how I met her, but I would delete it and then I would get bored. So then I would like re download and reactivate it and just wait and like, I would get these messages and I would, I clearly put in my bio, like, what's it called? A unicorn? A unicorn. Yeah. I would say like, not here to be your unicorn. <laughs> yeah. Cause it never failed. Like a girl would message me and like, you know, give me like five messages and then she'd be like, yeah. So like me and my husband are really looking for something. I'm like, oh, been down that road. I don't want to do that again. And it was constant. So are you talking about been down that road because of the, the guy that you married? No, 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 no. My first <laughs> full on like girl on girl experience was with a husband and wife. So no. Know. Yeah. With a two lesbians. Oh, oh yeah. You yeah. Said two yeah. Okay. yeah, it was. Sorry. Maybe like, we'll My ex husband should hate me because I cheated on him. <laughs> But I was go ahead and say that. Well, I mean, I don't care to say it now because he knows. I told him, like I told him everything. But I did it because well, I mean, there's no justification in it at all. But it was like I knew something was going on with me, but it wasn't even just like about my sexuality. Like it was other things. Like I was just I changed completely. Like I used to go to like rodeos and like love that shit. And like I don't know. I was all countryfied and I loved every minute of it. And then all at once I was like, I hate it. Like I want, you know, I want to go like, I don't know. I want to go to a club, another club, another club. I just club. wanted to do another so club. many different. Yeah. I mean, that's one thing, but I want to do so many different things. And, um, a guy that I had actually worked with at the time said something about his wife saying that, thinking that I was hot. And I instantly was like, okay, your wife's hot too. Cause I mean, she was attractive, you know, didn't really think anything of that. Got a message from his wife. Um, I had posted some pictures from a bridal shower and her <coughs> first message was, I love your dress. And I said, oh, thank you. And she said, it would look so good on my floor. And I was like, okay. Yeah, it would. <laughs> yes, it would. So you think I'm skinny? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's how that happened. And I mean, I guess I learned very quickly that the deal was they had this like very weird relationship. Like she was only allowed to do something if he was like involved. And at the time I was like, you know what? Screw it. That's fine. Well, thankfully, you know, it's a guy. So once he's done, he's done. <laughs> So he'd be like, okay, well, I'm going to go downstairs. He'd be like, okay, great. And I remember walking out of that house. I should have probably felt bad. I should have probably felt gross. And I thought, I'm a fucking lesbian. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what have I been? This is what I've been missing. Like, this is how it's supposed to feel. <laughs> and yeah, so that happened a couple times. And then shortly after, I uh, just happened to get a trainer who was gay. I knew who she was, never had a crush on her, but that escalated quickly. So I just, one night, I just told Dan everything. I said, you know, I like this girl. And he said, I know. I said, you know? He said, yeah. Because he thought I was always bi. Yeah. So he thought it was a sex thing. And I said, no. Like, I want a divorce. And he flipped out. Yeah. And he flipped out on me and told me he was that guy that was getting left for a woman. And I was like, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to go over to her house now. Like, I was horrible. <laughs> but I was so blunt. Like, and I think that's why, like, when I see him out now, he's like, hey, what's up? You know, like, we're friendly. Like, I actually think in the long run, he, like, respected the honesty. Cause I was just like, yeah. I'm done. I'm done hiding. And then of course I hid being gay for five months after that. So, but after that, I was like, you know, once I was out, 
I don't really hide anything anymore. It's actually a great feeling. <laughs> Proud of me. I love you, Wit. You're so yeah. fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible, though. I mean, it was, it was rough because I lived at our house that I had with him for seven weeks before I got all my stuff out. Like, I was in the process. So he would sleep in his truck sometimes. But, like, I didn't know that. I know. Poor guy. Poor guy. Poor mm -hmm. guy. I would stay at her house sometimes. You sound so really, you just sound, like, so, uh, I, what am I going to say? What was I saying? You sound so, uh, me like, really messed up about it. Like, you just sound really <laughs> empathetic. <laughs> really torn no, up. No, like, I mean, I did. I felt horrible. I really did. Don't get me wrong. It just, I think that what had happened was, I had always thought I was bi, but I always thought it was a sex thing. I had never full on had a, had sex with a girl ever. Um, I was just the one in like the eighth grade, like, hey girls, you want to make out and practice? <laughs> I was that girl. And I would always be like, I'd run around naked, like in front of my friends when we were way past the age that we probably shouldn't have run around naked. But I would be like, hey, like, I'm gonna go take a shower. Do you want to come take a shower? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did not do that, did we? No. Okay, yeah. I don't remember. Like, I remember people changing, you know, like, whatever, no. you change, like, I, you take I, your clothes off, whatever, like, but I don't ever remember, like, hey, you want to practice making out? Like, yeah, I remember, no. like, I joined the cheerleading squad when I was in the eighth grade just because, I mean, think about it. So, we had this <laughs> cheerleading, like, slumber party, and I remember being in, like, my friend's bedroom, and I was like, so how many of you guys have kissed a boy? <laughs> You know, and there was like two of them, you know, and I was like, so I think we should practice. And my other friend who had actually just came out recently, but like, I haven't talked to her in years, but I just saw that she had came out recently. She was like, yeah, let's do it. So like, we would all like make out and like have like a three way, like tongue kiss, like, it's so weird. Yeah, wow. I was always the one that was like, let's do this. Like, oh, it's fine. You know? But Where the fuck were those slumber parties when we were kids, Chelsea? No, what the that fuck? That really never yeah. happened. No, That's it really never did. No kids. one ever wanted to kiss me. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was literally all I did though. Like I didn't I mean, I didn't really I never did anything else. There was another friend um it was right before I got married, but we were engaged that I worked with and I think she she was by curious I'm not sure she was married and had a kid um but like we would like make out some and she would make all these comments but like when we did it we were just like acting like we were trying to be funny basically like she would be drunk I would be drunk she'd be like kiss me and I would kiss her and that was it so when I got the opportunity I took it and it kind of sucked but I was unhappy for a while anyway and he knew that but that's why, like, the night that I was just like, this is it. And I had just met the girl that was training me. It was my first actual girlfriend, actually. Um, I had just met her two weeks prior. And so I just told him. And I just, I mean, it just came out. Like, it was just word vomit, one right after the other. And he was just like, <clears throat> and I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is, how, this is how it is. Like, I'm sorry. I love your family. And, like, you're, like, my best friend. But, like. Um, I'm gay, you know. So then, of course, when I came out to my family, I came okay. out as bi. Peace out. Because I always thought that that would be easier. Shit, I said I was bi too, and that was literally never. Well, I feel a like thing. a lot of people do that. I feel like they think that so, less than the blow. Yes, I yes. came out as queer, and then they said what? <laughs> yeah, I oh. can see that. Did you actually oh. say that? Did you say I'm queer? I, I don't remember. It, I, that's where I blacked out. Um, <laughs> I don't really remember my coming out all too well. Like, it's very blotchy. I remember the moments leading up to it. What did mm -hmm. I tell you? What did, I, did I say I, I was remember. bi to you? or did I, did I don't remember what I even said. I, I, don't, I know that you didn't say you were queer because I would have also probably been confused because I wasn't very well versed with, like, what that word meant yeah. for a long time. Um, I think you probably said bye because I think that you probably that's what you thought at the time or maybe that's what you were that. at the time who knows yeah, yeah. but shit changes real quick once you like actually start to like 
accept what the fuck's happening and like what is going on and then you're like oh wait yep. no I'm not that at all you yeah. know like that because that's not what I did like I said I think that I came out at least to my I know like to my mom I said that I was bi but I'm fairly positive that I knew even then that I was not, but like I wanted to still feel like normal or whatever I thought that meant. Yeah. So I don't know, but I remember saying that I was bi. I literally texted my mom to tell her. <laughs> so, From the other room? No, oh. I was at college. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I literally, I remember, I don't even remember what I said to her, but I just know that I sent her a text that basically said, hey, like, cause I had talked to her, like I had mentioned the girl that I was dating at the time. Like I had mentioned her to my mom before, like multiple times. So I was like, Hey, the girl that I'm dating, blah, blah, blah. Like, we're not just friends. Like we're dating. I'm what it by or whatever the fuck I said. And she literally responded with, yeah, I know. I kind of figured. <laughs> I was like, okay. Cool. Uh, I'm so jealous of those stories, though. But, like, yeah, she literally was just like, yeah, I kind of figured I don't really care what Ugh. you are, basically. And then, like, I remember my dad, she was like, do you want to tell your dad or do you want me to tell your dad? And I was like, you can do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I did that same thing. Yeah. So she did it. And I remember, the, like, one of the first times I saw my dad after that, because she pretty much was like, yeah, he's not going to give a shit. One, the, one of the first times I saw my dad after that, he was like... <laughs> because I was still at that point like bye whatever the fuck and he he was like I thought that you wore like sweatpants and like basketball shorts and t-shirts you know like every day because you were lazy not not because you were gay and I was like <laughs> it, it was both <laughs> yeah it was, it was really just both <laughs> and I didn't really know that it was because I was gay but sort of did I guess I don't know I think I just shocked everybody because I was 27. I had been with that guy for seven years. I had obviously always been with guys. I was boy crazy for school, like just boy crazy. Everybody was hot. Always had a new boyfriend. Like I was never single. And when I, which I was real honest with my mom, like I would tell her like once I, I didn't move back in with him, obviously like two months after I told Dan. Oh, sorry, my ex-husband. But uh, <laughs> we're really bad with the names. I mean, I'm like trying to do names, and Chelsea's over here whispering. Like, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I try. You can edit it out. Or yeah, well, I, mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't really even care. Anyways, I don't care. He's trying to be like a country music star, so this might give him some like clout. <laughs> I think that's the word. <laughs> Dan the man. Anyway. The music man. Yeah, <laughs> Dan the man, the singing man. Gross. Um. But no, like, when I told my sister, I chose to do that over text when she was eight months pregnant, <laughs> and she cried, oh, but she weird. cried because she said, what if people make fun of you, and then I'll have to hurt people, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, so far, like, a lot of people know that are, like, you know, but it was, like, the younger generation, and no one, like, I had not gotten any negative feedback at all, so then me and my girlfriend signed a lease on an apartment and we were to move in the next day. So I told my mom that night <laughs> and we were sitting out on the porch and she was talking about this and that. And like all at once I just decided just to start crying because I didn't know what else to do. And I get really nervous. And she was like, what? She goes, are you lesbian? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yes. Yeah but I think I like both. She goes, oh, Whitney, <laughs> what did I do wrong? And I instantly got mad because I just don't like that. I don't like when people say what, you know, what did I do wrong? Where did I go wrong with you? So, but she was actually okay. Like she wasn't that bad. And then I was like, well, I'm going to go to bed. I got to work in the morning. And she's like, do you want me to tell your dad or do you want to? I said, no, I need you to. So I went to work the next morning. It was a horrible day because, you know, I don't know. I just knew that it wasn't going to be good. Exactly. I get a text from my mom that says, we've decided you shouldn't come home. And I just put, okay. So the next day I had to figure out a way 
to get one of my other friends to meet me at my parents' house while they were at work and literally pack all my stuff in that was in the bedroom because I had everything else in a storage unit in a couple totes and be out of there within like 30 minutes. So we did that. And my mom must have just come in right after that. And she was like, she texted me. She said, you and that Kristen girl better not have been in my house. And I was like, um, nope, it was just me and my friend, you know, Stephanie. And she's like, okay, well then she would send me pictures of her face after she had cried for like five hours and like her puffy swollen eyes and tell me that she meant to send them to my sister, but she would send them to me. So I ended up blocking everybody for like three months. And then all at once, my mom's like, I'm ready. And she came over to my apartment with Kristen. We had wine. She asked about dildos and strap-ons. Oh my God. She hugged Kristen and then took us to dinner. And from then on, like I was super happy, but Kristen held a grudge obviously because you know, she wasn't accepted at first, so she didn't really feel like, I don't know, she didn't really feel like mom deserved her to be, I don't know, it was kind of childish in a way, but at the same time, I get it, but now mom's fine, my family's fine, but it was rough. I did so, not know about that at all. Yeah. yeah, and I was like 27, and like, I felt like I was doing, I still feel like that sometimes, like I do everything, I'm doing everything backwards. Mm -hmm. like people ask me do you have kids as soon as I tell them my age do you have kids no <laughs> oh are you going to yeah eventually but like I'm st I started at 27 like I didn't start at yeah 20 21 like everybody else did yep. I feel like it's true do you feel like you missed out yes I missed out because I was one of those people I was like hey like I want to go to college I don't want to leave my boyfriend which was not the guy I married, different guy at the time. But, so I'm just going to go to local college, live at home, hurry up and get my degree, immediately start working, stay in that small town. And I just now, at 32, just now got out of that town. So, yeah, I mean, I do feel like I'm better late than never. <laughs> true, true. I mean, I'm happier now than I've ever been. But, yeah, I feel like, man, if I just would have like opened my eyes a little bit, but also where I'm from, like, I don't know, we're probably not really familiar with like Oak Hill, Ohio. It's like two red lights, a lot of cows, a lot of farms, no restaurants, like three, like McDonald's, KFC. That's about it. Subway. There's a subway. Hey, yo. A couple gas stations. I mean, it's not a lot there. And I didn't really know any gay people like at all, really growing up, ever, so. That's crazy. Well, I think those three months, I feel like with parents, like their number one thing is to like keep their relationship with their child, at least most of the time, you know, yeah. even if they don't have that. So I feel like it was good for you to have that, those three months, both of you guys, yeah. you know. It was good for me that I blocked. Well, I didn't have to block my dad because my dad didn't say anything. Apparently, when my mom told my dad, he just said, huh, well, I'm not buying her girlfriend a Christmas present. So come next December, I know, weird thing to say, but my dad is like me. We hold in our feelings, like we say the awkward things instead of like the real deep things until we think about it. And come Christmas, when everything's fine, he bought her Christmas present himself which he did not even start buying Christmas presents for us alone like my mom always did it until like five years ago anyway Aww, <laughs> so it was kind of cool. that's yeah, it good. Was good that's awesome yeah but it takes time I have a another one of my friends who did that like didn't speak to her parents for three months yeah um afterward but like it's all good now so yeah it's definitely not that I didn't want to but she was saying some things that like it took me a really long time to get over now even and I knew if it kept going it would just be worse so I was like okay if I block her from everything then I can't hear what she's saying you know True. then of course my yeah. sister didn't help because she was trying to play middleman oh god and, yeah with doing that she would also tell me everything mom would say probably not the best thing to do <laughs> yeah but 
but yeah, it's fine now. It's been fine really since then, honestly. Now, after me and her split up, she thought that I was going to get back with guys. Like, she was really, like, for it. <laughs> my but. grandma did that, too. After my first relationship ended, she was like, so, like, you know, are you, like, going to go back to dating boys? <laughs> yeah. It was like, no. Like, uh, no. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really did think I was bi for, the, like, the longest time, but... I realized something, honestly, after my second girlfriend, I took like a year to myself because I needed it. Very toxic relationship anyway. And I thought, you know, guys are just easier. You know, there's, you're always getting attention from the guys, whatever. And I would like try, because I can have like an emotional kind of, you know, relationship or connection with somebody, but then when I realized when it came to sex that I would literally want to gag through the whole thing, yeah. that more than likely I'm not bi. Yeah. So, I mean, I honestly <laughs> just came to that conclusion like a year ago, so. Grody. Yeah. Yeah, that's usually when I, if I even ever, and sometimes I still to this day will be like, am I really gay? Even though, even though, like mm -hmm. literally I have a podcast, like literally all of this stuff. And even it just <laughs> will creep up on me. It'll creep up on me like, is this, is this it? You know, like I've <laughs> I claim as, as a lesbian. And <laughs> what if I, you know, have to go back to all my friends and family and be like, nah, I was just joking. <laughs> just, just kidding, guys. It was uh, just a phase. It was just, just like a phase. Yeah. It's just a phase. It was for real just a phase. But like right after I think that it's ultimately like no way like this is this is how it is you know what I mean like yeah. I can never see myself ending up with a man having sex with another man again like mm -hmm. I even you know sometimes I will like I will say there will be times where I will have dream like I will have like a random dream about like having sex with a dude and it'll be just like like there was this one dream it was like a randomly like it was like a theme park and we just like fucked behind like a roller coaster <laughs> Nice. No, no conversation, no nothing. Didn't know the guy, total stranger. Nice. But then I wake up and I don't think about after like waking up from that dream or, or subsequent dreams, like I wake up, but I don't think about a man when I wake up Yeah. Mm -hmm. from that. Yeah. Like I wake up and then I'll, it'll, it'll turn to like a woman. Yeah. Mm. So isn't that interesting? That is weird. It is. Yeah. I mean, think about it sometimes. What I mean, you've watched like movies and series and stuff before and you think like, oh my God, that guy is so hot. Mm -hmm. He's so good looking. He's so attractive. Like, oh my God, look at him. They're in love. And you're just, you get all those butterflies and whatnot. But I know myself, like, I don't want that guy. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to admit to yourself sometimes that like, yeah, you can think a guy's attractive and whatever but that doesn't necessarily mean that you want to have sex with them or date them or marry them comp het man comp het compulsory heterosexuality Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> gross it gets even the best of us you know it gets yeah. even the best of us but it did make me think and that's why it made me think that i was by at the very beginning because i was like sometimes i have these dreams or like and it, but I think a lot of it, at least at the beginning, was like I wanted to be the those men. I didn't want to actually have sex with them. I wanted to be them, and I confused that with actual like sexual attraction and wanting to be with them. Yeah. So it's so funny you're saying that though, because I was just talking about this the other day. So all growing like growing up in high school when MySpace was a thing. I don't know if you guys remember MySpace. Yes. Are you? Okay. That's so rude to say. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Yes, we fucking do. You're not that much I older than us. Know. God. But listen, I was I was just saying this the other day. I was like, I would like there would be a girl at the high school or you know whatever, and I would just think she was so pretty. Well, I thought I wanted to be her. But now looking back, I'm like, I don't want to be her. I wanted to be on her, hundred mm -hmm. percent. Yeah. Yeah. Because I would never try to change anything about myself to even remotely look like that person or act like that person or dress like that person but yet I was convincing myself like oh my god she's so pretty I want to be her I want her life but not really I wanted to be in her life mm -hmm. on her you know <laughs> like you I want remember, her dress 
you wanted her dress on the floor. Exactly. Right, right, right. I remember, like, my junior and senior year, especially, like, there was this one girl that, like, I was just, I mean, I, I mean, I would just stalk all of her pictures. It was just psycho. Like, I would just look at all of her pictures all the time, be like, oh, my God, she's so pretty. I want to be her. Oh, my God, I want, I like, I want my hair like that. I want, and I would never do anything to even remotely look like her. I would never even try. But then, like, I would see her somewhere, and, like, if she would, like, say something to me, I'd be like, nope, mm-hmm, yep. You know, like, I would hardly say anything. I would clam up. And now, looking back, I realized it was a huge crush. And I was just in denial, obviously. <clears throat> I remember there was a time in junior high when people would get those, like, Teen Beat, you know, whatever, Tiger Beat magazines, whatever the fuck. Oh, yeah. And yeah, they would yeah, cut yeah. out the pictures of, like, Taylor Lautner, oh, yeah. the Jonas Brothers, and all of uh -huh. that. They would, they would put them. So I decided to do it, too, because everyone else was doing it. And so, but I, I felt really weird about it because I was like, I don't really like having all of these guys here. But, like, it seems like everyone else has crushes and they put their crushes up. So, like, I mean, I guess, like, I just chose them. I was like, I guess this, you, you, and you. Those look like good pictures. I'll put them there. And I had that on my big white bed. You know when I had that white bed and yeah, I had yeah. like bookcase? There, there yeah. was a time where I had them posted there because my dad wouldn't let me put them on the wall because like <laughs> it'd fuck up the walls. Um, <laughs> you know. So, oh, it's so like him. And I remember like wanting to put the, uh, the pictures of the girls on there, but like none of my friends were putting pictures of girls on there. So I like didn't do it. So I yeah. was afraid of being labeled as like gay or like whatever. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did that too with the boy pics. I'm trying to think of who I want to say I feel like I put like Miley Cyrus on there once and then I was like, no, nah, I got to take this down. <laughs> yeah. But I don't remember. I was obsessed with Britney Spears 100%. Oh, I did have Britney Spears posters. Obsessed with. So like my mom took me to a concert in the eighth grade. And, like, I have a picture, and I'm just setting, they gave roses, and I just was sitting there, like, <laughs> with my rose, just, like, completely smitten. And I remember her top came unsnapped, and she caught it, like, it was just a Ooh. malfunction. Ooh. And my dad, my dad being my dad, had the binoculars, you know, like, whatever, and I was like, oh, I want to see, I want to see. <laughs> and, like, I remember really wanting to see. Like, you know, thought she was just absolutely gorgeous. Boobies. hundred percent. I mean, I really wasn't, I guess at that point in time, in the eighth grade into boobies or anything, but it was just like very curious, really wanted to see. So she was probably my first huge crush. Guys, if you are listening to this episode and you are not on the second tier where you get access to all of the mini specials, I put two out on um tier one but i put four out on tier two so if you guys are interested in hearing about those stories um you know get yourself a little upgrade upgrade to that you get to hear those stories um but that's F it for this episode my queers thank you for being a subscriber on patreon um love to give you guys um this these type of bonus episodes um more to come on that so uh yeah be you be queer stay safe uh, we will see you on the next episode. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, God.